Hey everyone, it's Brad Halverson here. I want to take you through some of the sounds of Sick 3 Dark Places using my demo track Clot as a basic example. I'm going to play a little bit here for you and then we will dive into some of the sounds individually. <laughs> So as you can hear, there's a lot going on there. The first preset that I want to highlight is this Creature Hordes preset. Basically this is an atmospheric pad with these demented, twisted little creatures layered on top. Uh, when played by itself, this is what it sounds like. So as you could imagine, this could be used as a standalone or as to augment uh, composition as I've done so here. The next preset I want to highlight is one of the environmental presets. Uh, this is the Windy Interiors Atmospheric preset, which you can find in our environment folder here. Uh, so this is what it sounds like by itself. This is definitely a great preset to use if you want to have a creepy atmosphere. So next we're going to go into the quasi-musical presets. The first of which I'm going to highlight is this Raison. This is basically just a pad, and this is what it sounds like. The next quasi-musical preset is what I've used for my quasi-melody in this composition, and this is the string winders. This is what they sound like by themselves. And I'm going to take this opportunity to show you the offset feature here. As you can hear, the longer we play this sample, the more feedback and harmonics we get. So say you didn't want to wait that long for that and you just wanted to have the harmonics and feedback, you can use this offset function which basically will set the start point for the sample further along into the sample. So if we put this all the way up to the top here, we'll basically just get the feedback and harmonics. set this back to zero. And also it should be noted that you have two layers in this preset and you have 18 different instruments you can choose from within the string winders here. So I just have the preset one and two set for my layers but if you wanted to customize it you can choose any of these and then blend them together to get a custom sound. And lastly, I just want to highlight these convolutions. These have been set up to be used as percussion, which I've done so here. Uh, and if we just kind of mess around with it, you can hear that you can make some pretty good percussive sounds with this.
and that pretty much sums it up. So I'm just going to play you out here, and you can go and try out some of these sounds yourself. <laughs>